I'm going to show you how to take your vaporizer apart here. These are five screws and five feet. I took those off so you don't have to watch. But all you do is you peel off feet on the bottom. And there'll be screws on here. I already took the other ones off to expedite the video. And pull the bottom off. It's insulated, I guess. Okay, so this is the inside of the vaporizer. You got two on this plate. This is your wiring here. That's your power plug right here. And if you see on this one, I put a screw here. And each one will be a little bit different, probably, but they'll be similar enough that it won't make much difference. Taking these two loose here, you can see that this will might need to apply a little bit extra line there. Now, when I was talking in the video about pulling out your heat element and your sensor, these are what they are. So, you drill a hole right here in the vaporizer about a hole big enough for this to go through and then this. So you run both of these through that hole. Just the wiring. And then you plug that hole up. I used nail glue in there. Filled it all up. Then filled it up from the other side. So these wires come through there. Then you build your four little sided chamber. And these wires are in the middle. What you do is you insert them back into your top. You have to play with them, they're different on how they go in. And then you push your wiring back in, and if you had your four sided little block right here, you just mount this right to that, and that gives you your vertical. And then you put your two air lines coming in anywhere on the block you want to have your outlets, you put them in right there, your outlets, and you hook your hoses to it for your pump. So you make your chamber right here, this is the piece you use out of the original. Remember, you just pull these out, drill your hole through there, make your chamber on top, and that's how you make your forced air vaporizer. Pretty simple. Have a good day.